Hello everyone and welcome back to my video. Today, we will dive into an essential topic for navigational safety, the IALA Maritime Voyage System. This system, developed by the International Association of Marine Aids to Navigation and Lighthouse Authorities, IALA, ensures safe navigation by standardizing voyage systems worldwide. We will cover both IALA Region A and B systems, the five types of buoys, and the emergency wreck marking buoy. Additionally, I will share tricks to help you remember each type of buoy with ease. The system provides a uniform way of marking navigational hazards, safe channels, and wrecks. It is divided into Region A, used in Europe, Africa, Asia, and parts of Oceania, and Region B, used in the Americas, Japan, South Korea, and the Philippines. The primary difference lies in lateral voyage color coding. Region A. Red to port, green to starboard when returning from the sea. Region B. Red to starboard, green to port when returning from the sea. 2. Types of buoys in the IALA system The IALA system includes five main types of buoys, lateral marks. Purpose. Mark the sides of a navigable channel. Features. Region A. Port, red, cylindrical shape, red light, if lit, top mark, single red can. Starboard, green, conical shape, green light, if lit, top mark, single green cone, pointing up. Region B. Port, green, cylindrical shape, green light, if lit, top mark, single green can. Starboard, red, conical shape, red light, if lit, top mark, single red cone, pointing up. B. Cardinal marks. Purpose. Indicate safe water based on cardinal directions, north, east, south, west. Features. North. Two black cones pointing up, continuous quick or very quick white light. East. Two black cones base to base, white light in groups of three flashes. South. Two black cones pointing down, white light in groups of six flashes followed by one long flash. West. Two black cones point to point, white light in groups of nine flashes. Tricks to remember. Think of the cone shapes as arrows pointing toward safe water. For lights. N, north, is continuous because, north star is constant. E, east, equals, E3, three flashes. S, south, equals, S6, six flashes plus one long. W, west, equals W9, 9 flashes. C, isolated danger marks. Purpose. Mark a danger area with navigable water all around. Features. Black with one or more red horizontal bands. Top mark, two black spheres. White light, if lit, flashing in groups of two. Trick to remember. Two balls, two flashes, danger, stay away, D. Safe water buoy's purpose. Indicate safe water all around, like mid-channel. Features. Red and white vertical stripes. Top mark. Single red sphere. White light, if lit, showing a single long flash, Morse code, A, or isophase light. Trick to remember. Safe water equals candy cane, red, white stripes, with a red ball. E. Special marks purpose. Indicate special areas or features, like anchorage zones, pipelines, etc. Features. Yellow color. Top mark. Single yellow X, if present. Yellow light, if lit, with any rhythm not used by white lights. Trick to remember. Yellow for special, like caution signs on land. 3. Emergency wreck marking buoy purpose. Mark new wrecks until permanent measures are in place. Features. Blue and yellow vertical stripes. Top mark. Yellow upright cross. Light. Alternating blue and yellow flashes. Now let's revise and go further deep into ITO get more clear ideas. 1. Lateral marks. Region A. Purpose. 
Indicate the sides of a navigable channel. Rules. Port hand marks. Red. Keep the buoy on the port side while getting into the port from the sea. Starboard hand marks. Green. Keep the buoy on the starboard side while getting into the port from the sea. 2. Preferred channel marks. Region A. Purpose. Where there are more than one channel, it is to indicate the main channel of entry into the port. Rules. Preferred channel to port. A preferred channel to port is a green buoy with a red band in the middle that indicates the main route through a harbor. When navigating a preferred channel to port, the buoy should be kept on the starboard side of the ship. Preferred channel to starboard. A preferred channel to starboard is a red buoy with a green band in the middle that indicates the main route through a harbor. When navigating near to a preferred channel to starboard while getting into the port, the buoy should be kept on the port side of the ship. Here is a trick for you. To identify easily on daytime look for the main color of the buoy if it is mostly green keep it on starboard. Now question is why IALA is naming it opposite because this buoy is talking to you like hey navigator I prefer my own port side is safer for you. During night for the same buoy you find it group flash 2 plus 1 green. So I believe it's more simple for night. If you find green light keep it on starboard and if you find red light keep it on the port side. 3. Cardinal marks. Region A. Purpose. Indicate safe side of water relative to a centered wreck or hazard based on cardinal directions. Rules. North cardinal mark. Indicate north side of the cardinal buoy is safe for navigation. South cardinal mark. Indicate south side of the cardinal buoy is safe for navigation. East cardinal mark. Indicate east side of the cardinal buoy is safe for navigation. West cardinal mark. Indicate west side of the cardinal buoy is safe for navigation. 4. Special marks purpose. Indicate areas or features of special interest, such as anchorage, pipelines, or prohibited zones. Characteristics of special mark. Color, yellow. Shape. Any shape not conflicting with lateral marks like can, cone, or pillar is not used. Top mark. If fitted, yellow X. Light. If fitted, yellow with any rhythm not used by other marks, like single flash or morse code. Passing rule. To interpret for special marks local charts or instructions should be followed on ECDIS we can interrogate it for the correct meaning. 5. Emergency wreck marking buoy purpose. Temporary marking of newly discovered, uncharted wrecks to prevent accidents. Characteristics. Color. Blue and yellow vertical stripes. Shape. Pillar or spar. Top mark. If fitted, yellow upright cross. Light, if fitted, alternating blue and yellow, one second each. Placement. Position directly above or as close to the wreck as safely possible. Passing rule. Exercise caution and navigate at a safe distance around the buoy. Consult charts or notices to mariners for updated wreck positions. 6. Safe watermark purpose. Indicate there is navigable water all around the mark. Often used to mark fairways or landfalls or to indicate the middle of the channel. Characteristics. Color. Red and white vertical stripes. Shape. Spherical, pillar, or spar. Top mark. If fitted, single red sphere. Light. If fitted, white light with isophase, occulting, or long flash rhythm. Passing rule. Safe to pass on any side. Now please take note that in region B only difference is for lateral and preferred channel marking buoy which is just opposite to region A that's it. Understanding the IALA maritime voyage system is critical for safe navigation. By remembering the shapes, colors, and light rhythms, you can confidently interpret buoys and avoid hazards. 
Apply these tricks and practice often to solidify your knowledge. Thank you and safe sailing. For more videos, subscribe Sailor360 and stay connected.